everyone, welcome back to Playcrastination Population 380, and welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Black 2 Alternate Reality Nuzlocke. In the last episode, we boarded Team Plasma ship again and took them down and took down Chorus, who apparently was not the genius behind the whole plan, but uh, he was using Team Plasma to try to find the true power of Pokemon, but we stopped him in his tracks, and today we are continuing with what is supposed to be the final battle. Hello. What? You beat Colrus? Wow, I pretended to be strong. I don't have any Pokemon. Wow, Luigi, he's gone. Um, today, we're stepping on this war panel and going wherever it takes us. It's Getsus, yo. Of course it's Getsus. So today, apparently, we're doing some Getsus shenanigans. Mm, that blasted Colrus. Nice freaking cane, you loser. That fool is far too committed to pure science. This is how he makes repays me for making him a boss of Team Plasma. How dare he put his personal intellectual curiosity before our ultimate mission of conquering you, Nova. How fortunate for you. Few get to be the sole audience member for one of my speeches. Team Plasma will use its talent, knowledge, and technology to take Kyurem's true power to the absolute limit and freeze the Unova region. The terrified people in Pokemon will bow at Team Pla- No, at my feet. All right. Nice cane, you freaking learn how to walk. Kyurem is an empty being, the remnants of a certain Pokemon when it's split into Reshiram and Zekrom. My desires are the absolute rule of Unova. I gotta battle you now? That's right, Kyurem would be the vessel into which my desires would be poured. Lord Getsus, Kyurem has been transferred. It's finally here! The wonderful era in which I am the absolute ruler of Unova has finally arrived! I'll let you take care of this. I gotta fight Shadow Triad, boy? Oh no, he's going to, he's gonna get a Perlin. Wait, you're one of the Shadow Triad, right? Tell me about the Perlin that was stolen and spared to your city. Very well, this might be it. It's a Liper now, Growl. I stole this Pokemon five years ago in a spare to your city, so it seems likely that it is the Pokemon you're talking about, but now it only listens to my commands, such as the fate of Pokemon that are trapped in Pokeballs. Wha what? Don't mess with me, that's someone else's Pokemon. Ah, I feel sorry for the Pokemon. They're ruled by Pokeballs and the whims of their trainers. Lord Getsus spoke of Pokemon Liberation two years ago simply for his own ambitions, but if his plans succeed, he may, the Pokemon may have been saved. This Liebert, well, you knew it as a Purloin. If it has been released, uh, it might have been returned to you. Well then, you there. I won't let you interfere with Lord Getsus' plans. All right, I guess I'm fighting the Shadow Triad and we're gonna get this Purloin back for our good buddy Tom Hanks. One nice thing I've ever done for him. Three Pokemon, starting with a Feral Alligator. Um, also known as Feral Alligator, also known as a Water Type, also known as a Weak to Surf, but also not that weak, so he's gonna go for a Sacred Fire. We're probably gonna hit him up with some Dragon Rushes instead. Probably a better plan of action, as you can see there. Not a problem. Get taken down, son. Next, we have a Livani. Uh, I remember Livani is a Dark Type. Dark fire. It's a pretty cool combo. Why would I go into boomerang if it's a fire type? Because I know that I'm gonna outspeed and hit him with the Asaurus Sphere, and I know he's gonna go straight down. No chance he lives. No chance he lives. It's our critical hit, 100% guaranteed. Ollie's gonna go to level 49. And finally, a Scrafty, which again we know dark type or normal type. No, normal. I don't remember. He glares. Boomerang gets put paralyzed by the Scrafties. It's like our mortal enemy. He's like super fast, but he can't do anything else. Hyper Fang, absolutely pathetic. Hit him with the Aura Sphere and take him down. It doesn't bother us a bit that our Pokemon are st I don't, I can't read those that fast. You're not done yet. Okay, well I'm not done yet, but uh, thank you for allowing me to, to heal my Pokemon first. That's very nice of the Shadow Triad for, you know, we want to have a fair fight. Wouldn't want to be rude. Hello, next Shadow Triad member. I have no problem with you, but this is for Lord Getsis. All right. The Shadow Triad is so interesting. I know almost nothing about them in this game. Behem. Behem is a psychic type Pokemon. So we're going to go into Zubba 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 and set up on this thing. Psy Strike doesn't affect me, but why does Psycho Cut? Someone answer me that question. Go for the D dances. A Judgment is a Dark type move. That is going to connect. And do more damage than I'm comfortable with. We're going to set up a second D dance. A second Judgment is going to hit us. We live it. And we go for the Hyper Potion on Zubba. Probably going to hit by another Judgment. That is okay. As long as they don't crit, I'm fine. Now we go for a Faint Attack plus two which should take this Behem out. 
He gonna live on one. He gonna live on one HP. He's gonna live actually on one HP. I'm kind of tempted to get a milk drink. Well, you just sealed your fate. I'm D-dancing again. I'm D-dancing once more. Drink some more milk. I drink the milk, buddy. He's drinking some milk. He didn't even know what's about to hit him. One more dragon dance just for fun. We're going to sweep with Zubba. Judgment coming in. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. Go for the Quo plus four faint attack. Take out the BHM. Please all be psychic types for me if you could. Zubba goes to level 53. Oh. That is a special type move. Unfortunately, this doesn't help us. We like Dragon Claw better anyway. Gorbis is coming in. I always thought Gorbis should have been a water psychic type anyway. So the fact that you're a psychic type in this game just makes sense to me. Uh, taken down. And a Lantern, which we know is just a psychic type. He may have a secondary type, and we only have a Chin Chow. But we know that Chin Chow is a psychic type, so uh, have fun at the bottom of the ocean, Lantern. Goodbye. Even if I lose, losing. Okay, whatever. Last guy. We swore to be loyal to Getsus because he's saying. What? These guys, I want to know the lore. Fifth gen has the best lore of any Pokemon game. I like Heart Gold and Soul Silver quite a bit as well when you learn about the Giovanni lore and your rival. Ambipom. Ambipom is Water Ghost. <clears throat> Ambipom is Water Ghost, which means time for another Zubba sweep. <laughs> time for another Zubba sweep. Aqua Tail, we're just going to dodge that because we're pros. Set up a D-Dance, Aquatail's gonna connect, and it's resisted, so it's just a good time here on planet Earth. Hydro Pump is gonna do more damage, but not enough. Set up another Dragon Dance. Let's get more HP back. Fantastic. And we've done this whole thing without crit. We lost our Psychic type. I don't know who we're gonna replace crit with. That's not good. We gotta get rid of some of your HP because you're gonna start using Water Spout. I don't know who we're gonna replace crit with. Um, we have the Raikou in the box as a potential, but we also might catch Kyurem here, so depending on what Kyurem gets randomized to, could also use Kyurem. Petal Dance. You want to learn Petal Dance? Probably better than Tickle, so we're gonna get rid of Tickle for Petal Dance. Kabutops is gonna come in next, so you're either Ghost or Water. Either way, I am not particularly scared, because you're gonna be taking a plus two Dragon Claw. Yeah, you're gonna go down. You're gonna go down. Ampharos is gonna come in next. I'm pretty sure you're a grass type, so these these must all be Spore. So grass ghost maybe as a combo, uh, which means I should be using faint attack because they're ghost types. Shadow Ball is gonna connect. Ooh, good damage. I'm asleep. That's not good. Did not realize that. Didn't realize that. My own fault. Uh, we really needed some full restores, if at all possible. All right, so ghost grass for Ampharos. Cool. Yo, 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 calm down with the crits. Calm down with the crits. We're not trying to play games right now. <laughs> trying to heal up my Zubba. I need Zubba to wake up right now. Okay, calm down with the crits. I don't know what you're holding, skull blends or something, but you need to calm down, buddy. Shadow Ball coming in again. Okay, Zubba, you gotta wake up. Zubba, you gotta wake up. Wakes up, goes for the faint attack, takes out the Ampharos. Goodbye, my friend. Goodbye, darkness, my old friend. Listen well, the only thing we want is the world of Lord Getsus desires. No matter. The only thing you can do is watch Lord Getsus use Kyurem to freeze Unova solid. That's all. You, return this- I'll return this Pokemon to you. Considering what Lord Getsus is about to do, I have no further need of it. Nice! <gasps> hey, Gilmore, if we let Team Plasma do whatever they want, there'll be more sad Pokemon like Purloin and Kyurem. I mean, it's a live bird now, but you know, you can- <laughs> Oh, sorry, too soon? Uh, okay. Let's hit it up with some lemons. Lemons? Lemonade to get Zubba back to full fighting force. And now we're ready to go. I want to fight Getsus. I'm ready. Where are you at, buddy? Oh, it's cold. All right. Getsus, I'm coming for you. You think I'm not? I am on my way. Here I am. Come to save the day. Like this. Look at this. I'm sliding in. I'm slip sliding all the way to you. Where are you, by the way? <laughs> We also have some random grass I can explore, so I'm kind of interested in doing that. There's a Pokeball there that I don't know how I'm supposed to get. And there's my Kip in the grass. Level 50? That's inside. He's faster than me. He is a faster Mudkip than I. You are going to take some damage from the Rocky Helmet, though. I'm going to fly. Sludge Wave. Interesting. Uh, I'm going to fly up high. Ugh. And come back down on this mud kit because we know it's grass type and that's gonna kill it. I really don't feel like getting in battles right now though, so let's try to avoid the grass. If it's all possible. If at all possible. Well, it looks like I'm going up here. 
big cave time, big cave time. It seems like this might be where something story-wise happens. Okay. Uh, don't save, although it's a decent spot to save at if I was actually playing the game. Um, let's use, yeah, I got a potion. Yeah, heal up, heal up, there you go. All right, let's get it. Let's get into this cave. Let's see what's going on here. Is this a new area? No, it's still just giant chasm, so no new encounters yet, unfortunately. It's interesting. So this isn't a new, this isn't a new cave, so no new encounters, like I said. Moth in the tier. Got away safely. I'd like to just continue through the cave with as little encounters as possible. Okay, I'm gonna throw up a max repel because I don't, I, like I said, I don't feel like getting in any battles right now. We'll go with this max repel. Just make sure we have a master ball if we can catch this Kiram. There's Getsis right here. The giant chasm. This is the spot where Kiram's power resonates. Here, Kiram can use the full extent of its power to easily cover all of you Nova in ice. Hmm. Kurum, come! Wow. This is a kid's game. Hachran! Nice. I have continued. I have a memory that has continued to haunt me. Just one. That unpleasant look in your eye reminds me of it. That aside, this is my gift to you for showing my respect for making it this far. I'll freeze you solid right here so you can watch my glorious ascent. Kurum, glaciate! Alright, bring it on. Bring it on. I'm not scared of no glaciate. Uh oh, I'm gonna die. I'm 100% dead. Oh no, I'm gonna die. They're getting really big. I think I'm gonna die now. Oh, I, are you gonna stab me with those icicles? Sacrum fusion bolt. Oh, now you messed up. You be trying to stab me with some ice? You ain't. No, 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 no. I remember that's the oldest trick in the book. Kill someone with an icicle and it melts and then no fingerprints. So you came, the freak without a human heart. N. Wee! It's me. It's N. I'm so majestic. Sacrum told me Kiram is suffering. I can't allow selfish humans to make Pokemon suffer, and I like you, Nova. It's the place that taught me how to live as a human. It's the place that made me notice the harmony between Pokemon and humans living together. I will protect the Pokemon and humans who live here. Bazash, Bazinga. Excellent, that was a moving expression of your determination. So the education I provided you into making King wasn't a complete waste then. But I still haven't forgotten it, even though I was kind enough to find you when you were living in the forest with Pokemon you taken and care for you. In the end, you were selfish and disrupted my plans. I was supposed to use your abilities to rule you, Nova. But I'll forgive you for that as well. Zekrom, which you were kind enough to bring with you, can shatter ice. And now you've saved me the work of searching for it. Well, actually, I knew you'd appear if we fired ice missiles into Opelousa City, and you noticed the change. Oh, that's an ugly formula. It won't work. Oh, but it will if I use these, the DNA splicers. What is that big old bubble butt? I don't know what this thing is. It's a DNA splicer. Do I got any more drink? This is probably all just melted ice. That's like 97% melted ice. Mm -mm. Okay, we got a little triangle. Oh, it's a DNA splicer. You just stab Kiram in the spinal column. Why can this game not handle the well, epilepsy warning once again? For some reason, this game cannot handle the cutscenes, or this emulator, I should say. Um, what just happened? Okay, so Kiram got some little things on his back. This is for, oh, I think the problem is for some reason it's trying to show the same thing on the top and bottom and that's making it freak out for some reason. I don't know why it's making it freak out. Zekrom's gonna fly. Zekrom's dodging, he's dipping and diving. It's like splitting it in half for some reason. I'm very sorry for this. This is like the coolest cutscene in the whole game, I'm pretty sure. And it's messing up. Uh, Zekrom is being surrounded by some, uh, some jump rope. Mm. It's, it's fine. It's fine. Mm. Delicious. Uh, why is Zekrom a circle? Huh? Z Zekrom. Kiram absorbs Zekrom. Use absolute fusion. You just made that word up. All right. Well, another cutscene. Lovely. I really wish this cutscene wasn't like this. Okay. He's using absolute fusion. It's becoming one. Oh my gosh, I'm actually like gonna explode myself. 
It doesn't look as bad on my emulator, so it's weird that it's messing up here. But it is real flashy, and I, I'm just sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry you're having to witness this currently. Okay, so what just happened? Oh, this is oh, this is why Kieran Black exists. Of course. Am I gonna catch Kieran Black? I certainly hope so. Yo, calm down though. Calm, literally calm down. Kieran Black is a good looking boy. Look at that mon. That's a beastly looking Pokemon. It, you know, if you could actually see it. His eyeballs are open. His tentacles are coming out. Oh, he's fusion bolting up. He's charging up with electricity like my phone after a long Saturday night. All right, there you go. Please end the cutscene. My eyeballs are starting to hurt. Cutscene ended. All right, Kieran Black. Huh. I would never have believed Pokemon could fuse together. There was a horrible formula like this. You fool. Last time I... <laughs> Last time I was going to use you to capture people's hearts and minds to rule them, but this time I will simply use your overwhelming power to rule with an iron fist. Do you understand? If you had simply become king, you never would have remained beautiful. Come now, trainer. This time no one will save you. But to make things interesting, I'll give you a chance. Let's see if you can stop this curum. What's this? Your Pokeballs are trembling. Could your Pokemon be shaking with rage? Maybe. No, that's not possible. Simple tools don't have emotion or thought. Come, challenge Kurum, just so you know catching it is impossible. My cane emits a signal that disrupts the function of all Pokeballs. Alright, so I can't catch this thing. That's scary. Who do I want to lead with? We don't know what type it is. We don't even know if it's gonna be a cure -up. I'm gonna leave with Roman. And get off a dizzy punch. Try to confuse this thing right off the bat. This thing might actually just be a cure in black. All right, so I can't catch it, it says. I cannot catch. It's a thunderous. I lied to your face. I lied. It's level 55. This may be where the whole thing ends. This may be where the whole thing ends. All right. We're gonna hit it with a dizzy punch right off the bat. Like I said, try to confuse it. We're fast. Ghost type. He's gonna go for curse, lose half his HP right off the bat. Dummy. A dummy. Going to Zappa, who is a beautiful dark type Pokemon. And you can hit me with a shadow punch. It's not gonna do diddly bub kiss. Get them dragon dances up. Zappa is too strong for you. You're gonna curse again and take away more HP. Unfortunately, he was at an odd number, so he is gonna survive on one HP, but that was the easiest battle I've ever done in my entire life. I don't know if I could have caught that thing, by the way. He said his Pokeball disrupts it, so I'm assuming no, and we just took it out. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Bazash, Haran! Have I won? Is he dead? Kurum and Zekrom were separated. Yes! I can't believe it! The Black Kurum went through all the trouble of preparing! How irritating! Now I have to go recapture Kurum, don't I? But first, I'll take down this disgusting traitor with my own hand. This time, I will succeed no matter what they try. No one will be able to stop me! N. Oh, I don't even get to heal first? Little Rude. Little Rude gets this. Okay. We got a Getsus battle. The battle against Getsus with your big key sword. Okay, somebody plays a little too much Kingdom Hearts. Hitmonlee Lee is a flying ground type. I think. I think. My Pokemon were healed, by the way. I believe you're a flying ground type, so I'm gonna go. Why can't I be? Oh. He has an arena trapping ability. All right, well, we are stuck, which is bad because if you are truly ground type, then Roman is so dead. Spite, it doesn't work. He's a ghost type, ghost type. Go for, he has earth power though. He does have earth power. I knew he had that move. Come on, you got this. Oh, you so have this. Thunderbolt, connect. And that's super effective. That's a sound I like to hear. One more of those. Hold on. One more of those. You got a little bit of lefties? A little bit of lefties? Going over that full restore? I don't think so. You're going to get taken down. I definitely should have... I mean, we know how much this does. So, I'm... I mean, he's going to take away some of my Thunderbolts. May as well stick with Thunderbolt. Don't need to keep hitting ourselves with recoil from Wild Charge, even though it is stronger. In my opinion. Next Pokemon. Crustle. Crustle, the bane of my existence. 
Boomerang is the answer and the only answer, even though he's defensive, a quad effective Icicle Crash has to do some good damage. It has to do some good damage to this thing. It's quad effective. He's such a strong boy, but he flinches from the Icicle Crash. Oh, I love it. I love it. Crustle goes down. Hoo. Hoo -ah, hoo -ah, hoo -ah. Leafeon. I'm assuming these are all flying types, by the way. Roman, come back in. I'm assuming all flying types, which means it's a good time for Roman to get some juicy experience. Thunderbolt coming in. Super effective. Tailwind. Oh, that's bad. That's bad. I'm going to go for the wild charge because... Oh, I dodge it! Yes! Okay, that might have killed me. With the recoil of wild charge, the blizzard may have killed me. So I'm very glad that didn't hit. This doesn't take the Leafeon out still. Um... We know he's got Blizzard, so I do want to be a little precautious and heal up Roman. Just in case, we don't know how much this Blizzard is going to do. So I just need to see. Oh my gosh. Go for an E-Speed. Take him out with an E-Speed. Take him out with an E-Speed. You should take him out with an E-Speed. You didn't take him out with an E-Speed, but you're going to use Parish Song. This E-Speed luckily will take him out. The last one did not. This one should take him out. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. Do, do. Yes, it do. Yes, it do. Time to switch out Pokemon. It's a Dragon. We already know that you are ice. No flying and maybe poison? Can't remember. Definitely flying, so go for the Ice Icicle Crash. That's super effective. That's not great. That's not great. That's not good. I don't like that even a little bit. Icicle Crash is landing. Clink Clang has been doing really good with that accuracy. He must have got himself some glasses or something because he's been doing really good. Okay, so you have Secret Sword. So I think we got to go into Tucson here. I can't really afford to go into anybody else. So Secret Sword. Wow. I'm going to fly. I'm going to... Get pro plate, son! You go for the fly, I go for you go for the bounce, I go for the fly, I hit you don't. I really thought that was gonna take you down, I'm not gonna lie. Secret sword, oh now he can pro play me with the bounces. Now he can pro play me with the bounces. No. Okay, but we're just gonna heal up. We're gonna heal up this turn. Smart play, heal up. Don't worry about it. Do not. Don't you worry about a thing. Except for the instant guaranteed paralysis. But you're going to die to Rocky Helmet, so it's okay. It's okay by me. Who's next? Mmm, Greedilly again. And Boomerang's only at half HP. <laughs> gotta go for Boomerang and you gotta land an Icicle Crash. You got to land an Icicle Crash, man. You have to land this one. This is the most important one of the entire Let's Play. That was the most important one of the entire Let's Play, and it's a crit. Mm. Wow. I think we just lost to this Cradilly. Again. Again. Literally again. Crud, crud, crud. I gotta go for the setup. Even though he's dragon type and he's gonna hit me with the dragon type move, I gotta try to get... Oh, no. No. He's doing the same. He's doing the same. I gotta hit him now. I gotta hit him now. I gotta hit him now. It's plus one. It's only plus one. It's only plus one. It's only plus one. It's only plus one. Yes. Yes. Dragon Claw. Okay, Cradilly's down. Cradilly is down. We're at a plus one Zubba. Archeops. I don't care. I'm staying in. I don't care what he brings in. I'm at plus one. I'm just going to Dragon Claw everything. Steel type. Steel type. Steel type. We're good. We're good. We're good. We have, uh, we have Tucson. We have Tucson. Okay, Steel type is not a big deal. Whew, I'm sweating like you have never imagined before. Okay, Flame Charge. Even though Iron Tail is not going to do a small amount, the Rocky Helmet's going to do some damage. He's life orbed? That did nothing! Go for one more flame charge. Iron Tail. Okay. Iron Tail does some damage. I lose the defense. Yes! We landed! Is that his last Pokemon? Please tell me that's his last Pokemon. Oh, please be last Pokemon. Please be last Pokemon. Please, please, please. Please. Zabba grows to 54. Yes! Team Plasma gets us has been defeated. Not without the loss of Boomerang, which I cannot overstay understay. Over I don't even know. It's bad. Losing him is horrible. But we made it past the Cray Dilly, which is all that matters. Oh, 
How can this be? I'm the creator of Team Plasma. I'm perfect. I'm the absolute ruler who would change the world. And I've lost to some unknown trainer not once, but twice. Actually, I was the same guy. I can't accept this. This isn't possible. I can't be bested by fools who can't even use Pokemon correctly. It's hard to call you this, but father, please on. Oh, snap. Pokemon are not tools. Pokemon are humans. Take Pokemon and humans take each other to greater heights. They are our wonderful partners. So some humans understand this. Why can't you? Shut your mouth. Shut up, shut up, shut up. Don't talk like a person, you freak. No real person could talk to Pokemon. Lord Getsis has lost control. We'll take it from here. Okay, without father, Team Plasma is. Farewell. Okay. Oh, he left his key behind. On behalf of everyone, thank you. Kiram is fine. Now it has lost its power, but it will come here again. Bazaj, can I have your Zekrom? Zekrom says thank you as well. That's right, I can talk with Pokemon. I like to brag about it. On that day, two years ago, a certain trainer and Alder taught me something. By accepting different ideas, this world creates a chemical reaction. So I met many different Pokemon and people heard so much. And that's how my world quietly grew bigger. By being with Pokemon, humans can continue towards new horizons. By being with humans, Pokemon can exhibit their true power. That's what Zekrom taught me. The ideal for Pokemon and me. And someday, both ideals and truth will come together. And then humans and Pokemon will be freed of oppression from Pokeballs. You. What are you and your Pokemon striving for? You should head to the Pokemon League and put your ideals to the test. We're almost done. Bye. He's gone. We are almost done. Hello, Tom Hanks. Team Plasma ship flew away. Is it over? Yes, I see. So it's finally over. More importantly, you rescued Curum from Team Plasma, right? You're really something. I'm... I'm gonna make sure my poor woman gets back to her sister. She can't take it out of the Pokeball yet, though. What are you gonna do? He said go to the Pokemon League, that's a good idea. I mean, you're the strongest in Unova, right? Go prove it. Do you remember when we first met up in the giant chasm? If you follow that path from there, it goes out to Route 23. Victory Road and the Pokemon League are just past there. All right, well, that's intense. It's the cane Gez is holding. Was he controlling Kirin with it? I would like it. I would like it, but we cannot have it, unfortunately. So like I said, we did lose Amon. We lost Clean Clang, and that stinks. We have Hypno as a nice type in the box, though, so, you know, maybe we'll have to figure out how we want to rework things. Oh, I'm so sorry, Clean Clang. I'm so sorry. Oh, you have such a good Mon. Um, for now, before we end this episode, because I think we're probably going to need a, one last, hopefully, grinding montage before we take on Victor Road and, and the like. Um, but I need to have... Uh, we can get to Route 23 now, which means I can get a Route 23 encounter, uh, which may influence who I end up adding to the team. Remember, Crit is not on the team either, so we have two slots to fill. Um, can I catch Kiram, by the way? I was told I could catch Kiram. Also, I'm pretty sure there's Hidden Grottos. I'm like 97% sure that there are Hidden Grottos in this area, like where we are right now. We can also find a fossil or a shell shell. Um, I'm pretty sure there's hidden grottos around here somewhere. So if we can happen to stumble upon them and maybe there's a Pokemon inside, we may be able to get more encounters as well. For right now, I'm just trying to, oh my gosh, they ruined all the wildlife. Why would you land a ship right here? You jerk bags. Okay, I don't know if I actually can get past everything. Hello, no, I really, Guys, how's it going? Yeah, I'll be right back. Got some exploratating to do. TM65 Frost Breath is actually pretty good, considering we just lost our Ice type. Hopefully we can find a Pokemon to actually use it with. Hello. Oh, you're safe. I'm so glad. As for Team Plasma Ship, a man in a white lab coat appeared. He said a trainer had given him the answer he'd been seeking, and uh, he would disband Team Plasma. When he said, he said, mm, farewell, walk away. We just passed the Pokemon. Okay. And Lord N is safe. Yes, that is all true. That is all true. Do you see? A hidden grotto, my friends. Call it out if you do. Scream it to the heavens, because I need to know. There is an item there I need to get. There are several items here which we can get. I don't know how to get to them, though. I don't know how to get to them. These freaking smushed trees are causing some issues. Okay, this is how we get to this one. This is how we do it. Oh, I should have this out for sure. There's probably hidden items everywhere. A zap plate, interessante. I'm gonna get this last item that I saw. Hidden grottos, hidden grottos. I don't see any here. I don't see any here. I'm looking for some trees mooshed together. By the way, they may not even be here. <laughs> uh, it's possible they're not. Oh, there is one. I see it. I see it. Hidden grotto, hidden grotto. Will there be a Pokemon inside? 
Nope, there will be a repel inside. Significantly less exciting, unfortunately. Um, is that the end? Is that the end? I walked right past that when I first came in. No, there's another Pokeball somewhere. There's another Pokeball up here I need to get to. How can a young lad such as myself get up there? How do I get there, yo? Teach me your mysterious ways. Oh, oh, looked like a stick. Looked like I could sneak past the stick. Hold on. Oh, I can jump up. Second hidden grotto, more hidden grottos. Is there more hidden grottos? Hidden grottos, hidden grottos. I don't see no hidden grottos. I see an item though, and I will pick it up. Yes, yes, it's a fossil, which means a new encounter right here. Right here and also right now. No, that was the, that was the item that I needed. But it's okay because we're about to get another encounter. Let me make sure no dead boys are about to come out. No, it's Tucson and Zubba. We're gonna get another encounter with that Helix Fossil. So let's throw it away very quickly. Uh, Helix Fossil starts with an H. Starts with an H, that's this way. H, H, where is it? Oh, it got put at the bottom, it got put at the bottom. That's where the black sludge went. It doesn't go back to its original resting spot. Ah, okay. Trash the Helix Fossil. And now I can get a new encounter, new encounter. Shaking Grass Spot is absolutely what we're doing. Shaking Grass Spot, Giant Chasm Encounter, Re-Encounter is gonna be, we already have that. We already have Hitmon Zop, so I'm just kidding about that Shaking Grass Spot Encounter. Not, not actually what we're going for. We know he's a dark type. We know he's a dark type. We know we have nothing to worry about. Go for Skull Bash. Yeah, nothing to worry about. Get out of here. Come on, him on top. You're, you're just extending the episode further than I'm comfortable with. Could also just make it happen in the next episode. Probably should. That's what I'm going to do. We're not going to do a grinding montage yet. Hopefully I remember, by the way, that I just picked up a fossil. What? I'm gonna do it in the next episode because we've gone on long enough. In the next episode, we're gonna get our Helix Fossil encounter here in Giant Chasm, and at the same time, then we're gonna go and get our Route 23 encounter, and then we'll organize a new team, and then we'll start exploring, and then we'll make it to Victory Road, and I'll probably grind up before Victory Road. Or maybe not. Maybe we just save the final grinding montage for the Elite Four. Uh, I don't know, I'll let you guys know. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you subscribe to <laughs> To become a citizen of play procrastination today. And if you know anyone that you think would be a great play procrastinator, go ahead and send them by because we'd love to have them. With that, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.